gonna do this intro really fast. It's gonna be a money saving video. I'm about to go into the Paul Mitchell school, but I kind of wanted to show you guys my hair before. Like how bad my roots are. Um, yeah, but I do this to save money. I go to the Paul Mitchell school. I love it. I pay $15 for haircuts and $35 for color. Um, I don't know. I might do something crazy today, so it might cost more, but I'll tell you guys how much I spent and how much their prices are here, and I'll talk more about it after my appointment. So, see you soon. Guys, so I have tried to make this video, tried to make this video like three times already. So, anyways, I got my hair done earlier today. That was the video you saw a few minutes ago or a few seconds ago, whatever. Um, so I wanted to show you the end result. Uh, I got regular highlights and then they went back in and they added um, like pink um, peekaboo highlights. And so where did my receipt go? Oh, there it is. Of course, I dropped it. All right. So I spent $35 on regular highlights, which was like half my head, pretty much like all the crown area. Um, at my old salon, it was 85 to do half the head. Then the the partial foils, like the peekaboo highlights, there was 12 of them. And those are $2 each, so it was $24 in my old salon to get the same thing done. She said it would be $80. So that's a big savings. Um, so right there, I saved $100. Because if I would have gone to my old salon, it would have been $160. I only spent $60. Um, then I spent like $13 on a shampoo and uh, 11 no, $11 on shampoo, 13 on the conditioner, and then this menu, oh my god, my nose is itching. I feel like a, like a coke head, I know. It's been like itching all day. Um, this is the menu, I'm just going to, is this upside down? No. I don't know if this is going to be backwards. Yeah, this is totally going to be backwards, sorry. I don't know how to fix that. I'll post a picture on my blog of the menu later. Oh my god, that's terrible. I'm sorry. Let me let me just go over it real quick. Okay, basically a cut and style. Everything I'm gonna go over is phase one. So if you phase two would be like five dollars more, and that's just somebody that's on the floor more and they've had a little more experience. But for me, I always stick with phase one. Cut and style, 15 bucks. Um Haircut with chemical service, like today if I got my haircut, it would have been $10. Um, if you just go in and get your uh, split ends trimmed, it's $10. I have no idea what a spiral set is, but it's $35. Blow dry and wrap, $20. Shampoo set, $15. No idea what that means. I don't think any of you guys are seniors, but if you are, it's $10 for a cut. Um, an updo was is 30 cornrows, $2 per braid. A perm is 40, specialty perm is 45. Virgin relaxer is 40, relaxer retouch is 30. A senior perm is 25, iron work is 20. Basic hair color, like your whole head, like if I went and got like red hair, it'd be $35. A flashback, no idea what that is, but it's $12. PM shine, basic color, Twenty-five, whatever that is. Um, I don't ever get color; I just get highlights, so I don't know. Uh, PM Shine top coat. I guess if they add like a shiny thing top coat, it's eight. Uh, foil work thirty-five. Senior color twenty-five. Corrective color. If you screw up your hair, like one lady was in there. Oh my god, y'all! Her hair was like orange, and I'm assuming she could tell she used to have black hair, like uh, because her eyebrows were uh, really dark. Um, she was she was either Native American or Hispanic. So you could tell her hair was like really dark, like a really dark brown or black. Um, and it looked like she tried to bleach it, like make it blonde with a box color, and she had orange hair. So they had to fix that. That would be $50. Um, and then if you just want like a nice wash house experience, I guess they wash your hair really relaxingly. I don't know. That's $15. The scalp treatment is $15. Keratin, which they wanted to do on me, is $25. And then she said I would need like three ampules. So it, for me, it would have been like, I think $35, which I'm going to do next time. I just don't want to be spending all that money today. Additional chemical bowls. So like basically if I wanted to do my whole head in highlights, it would have been an extra bowl, which has been an extra $10, which in my old salon, a whole full head of highlights was $170. 
So basically, if I'd done a full head today, it would have been $45, which is crazy. But um, I just wanted to do half my head today. Um, yeah. Um, anyways, if you have a beauty school in your area, I would totally check it out. It's totally worth the money to me. Just make sure somebody can fix your hair if they F it up. Okay. I'm going to go now. Bye, guys.